Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm Ayv Zairi, a.k.a. Weto Local, right here representing the Link When It Happens for show. Sure. Hey, what up, doggies? It's motherfucker Chet the Loco, representing DH to the fullest. And my DJ Trey, he's out taking his shit. <laughs> Drop him. Man. Drop him. He does his shits like <laughs> ten times a day. Yeah. Okay. All day, every day. I think hip hop moved forward for a lot of years. It got better and better and better. And people were saying really important things. Teaching about a whole culture rather than trying to change the culture to something meaningless. Okay. Um, it went from good music and great songs to where in the 90s Method Man actually won a Grammy in the R&B category. And now, most of the hip-hop, not everybody, but most of the hip-hop now that's in the top 10 is they, they rely or, or it always depends on their, their clothes and yeah. their necklaces and their cars and how many naked women are in their videos. <laughs> it's yeah. a bunch of material. Yeah. And like I said on stage, it makes kids think that they don't have, that they're nothing if they don't have a lot of money. Mm. And that's not true. I've been around this world 50 times, maybe more. Yeah. And I met a lot of people, a lot of good people, both rich and poor. But I'll tell you what, when I met them, it didn't make a difference whether they're rich or whether they're poor. The only thing is whether I could see that they were a good person with their handshake and a smile. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? That, that's and that's what, it. That's what... I loved hip hop because it gave me a chance to, to create and make music when my, my parents didn't have any money to buy guitars and, mm. and drums and microphones and PA systems and be in a band and shit, yeah. you know, it's expensive. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And um, so all I could do was write rhymes. I would come home from school and draw pictures and write rhymes and go graffiti and break mm -hmm. dance and yeah, cool. do whatever I could, you know. I've always been a big guy, so break dancing wasn't so good. <laughs> <laughs> Graffiti was cool and I learned yeah. how to run fast because the cops would come after us all the time. <laughs> yeah, cool. But when I, when I started writing rhymes and even poetry, you know, it gave me something to do and it gave me something that I felt that I was super good at and something that oh, yeah. I could actually say something and people might listen. Because there's so many kids out there that now they don't give a fuck because they don't think anybody's listening anyway. Yeah. And when they see, I hope when they see groups like us, and, and, you know, uh, there's a lot of other guys, too, that represent to the fullest. But I think the main problem is the fact that these kids lose sight of, of truth mm. and reality. Because, you know, like on MTV Cribs, yeah. those are rented houses. And somebody from the record label goes there and cleans this house and puts the refrigerator perfect. And they park a bunch of rented cars in the driveway. It's, yeah. all, it's all promotion, you know. Yeah. And, um, Good morning. Don't get me wrong, man. If I had a lot of money, I would say I do. And I would say I'm still down to earth. But the truth is, is I work every day. Gente works every day. Every day. DJ Trey works every day. Yeah. And, and I know a lot of other rappers that do the same. Cycle Realm, they work every day, you know, and it's a struggle for us, too. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but because we love the music and we love the feeling we get when we bring people something that, yeah. that they're not getting, it's, it's, it's really cool, man. It's a fulfilling feeling. We've been in France a lot of times. We did yeah. about, we've probably done a hundred shows in France, but about, I think it was 1999 okay. in Montpellier. Yeah, I yeah. heard about it. We got in a big fight with like 30 guys, four of us. No. Yeah, it was, it was really bad. I mean, oh. we hurt them pretty bad, you know? Pretty bad. I mean, there was too many, too many guys, so we had to run, but... The ones that we got a hold of, they went to the hospital, you know. Okay. <clears throat> and that's not something. Story. <clears throat> that's not something to be proud of. But from what I heard, after from from Interpol, the police, yeah. also from hip hop forums and stuff, is that these guys came from Morocco, and there was thirty of them, yeah. and they were robbing everybody that went to that certain venue, that certain club. Okay, okay, understand. The day after us, they got the Sugar Hill Gang. Yeah. And the day after that, they got EPMD and DOS effects. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't get our money, but they got theirs. So 
It's L.A. and this motherfucker. Right <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <on. Yeah. laughs> my, uh, my biggest musical influence, I think, Thanks. as I was younger, was the stuff my parents listened to. Okay. Um, from The Doors to Hendrix to Neil Diamond, I mean, to okay. the craziest things you'd ever hear. <laughs> Kenny Rogers, I mean. Bee Gees. Bee Gees, yeah, you know, you can listen to the Beach Paris. Boys. Beach a lot Boys. of old stuff your parents listen to gets you enthusiastic about music. Okay. And once you start listening to music, then you decide what you like on your own. Decide for it. Yeah. If it was hip hop, I'd, I'd definitely have to say, of course, Run DMC, The Fat Boys, King T, um, out of LA, Ice T, of course, you know, who yeah. now is a pretty cool friend of mine. Cool. Um, there's a lot of people that, you know, you, you don't even realize that that would influence you too. Yeah. You know, Beastie Boys early stuff was real sick. Sick. Especially yeah. me being a white boy trying to do hip hop. You see these white boys, you know, so and they're crazy. doing it. It gives you kind of a, a heart that, you know, yeah. you have a chance, you know. Okay. I mean, for me, it brings a lot of things. Um, first of all, it brings me happiness, the fact that I see that there's people out there that still believe in true music. Yeah. <clears throat> and some people know that it's more than just the music, you know. It's more than 50,000 people in a stadium. Yeah. It's 250 in a club. It's one or ten. It's, it's everybody that wants to hear you. Yeah. Because every ear is, is, is something that you can give a gift to. That's and they give gifts back. Every time I see somebody put their hand up in the air or yell out what I ask them to yell out, it's like they're giving me more money than I could ever have. Yeah, yeah. cool. You know, there's nothing... Prices. Yeah, you can't go and can't. buy that. That's yeah. something that you just have, you know. Yeah. I mean, me also coming to Europe in Switzerland, I met my wife. I just got married about six months ago to my Swiss wife, so oh, cool. I feel pretty lucky about that. You know, I met DJ Trey. He, Filled in for OG Style when he when he flew the coupe and went crazy. <laughs> cool. Man. And um, you know he's from Switzerland too. Cool. And um, he eats a lot and he shits a lot, but he's cool. I, I could sit here for hours and tell you the stuff that I've gained from coming to Europe. Yeah. Confidence. I've gained knowledge. I've gained a family. I've gained experience. I've gained. I mean, you name it, man. I've gotten it. Cool. You know? Cool. I can honestly say that I've really never gotten anything negative from Europe. You know. Okay. Except for maybe Except a cold. Neutral, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Except for when it's too cold, when the, when it's snowing. Yeah, that, yeah that's for freezing. Yeah, you can't go it's outside freezing. with your shirt off when it's cold. That's, that's oh, one. Yeah, that's Definitely true. not in your boxers. <laughs> <on. Yeah. laughs> I mean, much like France, you know, the U.S. is is like a big goulash. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. a big frying pan with yeah. everything in it. You know, look here in this room. You know. Everybody's different. Yeah. You got a Mexican, you got a Italian, yeah. Spanish American, French guys, you got black guys. I don't know what this guy is. <laughs> <laughs> you got an Italian, a, you got a Swiss. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, cool. So everybody's different, you know what I mean? And it's the yeah. same in my neighborhood. Okay. So when we grow up we, we hear everything influences Spanish, English, everything in between and it's like a big um it's almost like when you go on the internet and yeah, all this yeah. spam comes in. It's like you just learn everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You turn, you click onto the, you click onto real life, and everything fills your head, and you can't throw it in the junk file like you can on your computer. You know, everything sticks. So it's pretty. It's just a big melting pot, and the music that we hear in the neighborhoods at parties, the music maybe our fathers or grandfathers listen to, it sticks, and mm. that becomes influential, and that's the way we work okay. it. You know. I mean, I think it changed that that the American dream is still a reality. You know, it shows that anybody can become anything if they work hard, you know. As far as whether Obama is changing anything yet, that's to be seen, you know. I mean, I don't think any one man can change anything. Yeah. You know, and as far as, as do I believe in any politician in the United States? Nah. Okay. They don't care about us. They don't, you know. If you're a voter, whether the president's white, black, yellow, green, or purple, he cares about if he wins or loses, you yeah. know. And and um, that's that's the nature of politics. 
I think the only change in America or in France or anywhere is when people like you and me realize the power we have. <clears throat> and they wouldn't be anything without us. You know, I'm sure Obama's a good man. I'm sure the other guys that come in, they're a good man and they try hard. But there's too much against them. In America, it's, it's 250 years of corruption. In Europe, it's Quite thousands of years. <laughs> Quite the same. You know what I mean? And, and For a long time. It's hard, you know. So yeah. guys like us, we just have to be happy doing what we can. Yeah. You know, if, if every day you get up and you think, man, I can't change the whole world, or I can't make this right, or this fucking sucks, all you're going to do is be unhappy. Yeah. And it really doesn't help. A lot of times I get frustrated. I'm like, man, I pay so much taxes. Yeah. And I don't even make that much money, you know, how the mm. fuck am I supposed to feed my kids? You know, and that's, that's the sad truth. So, I mean, politics to me, it's very, very um, frustrating. Yeah, it brings me a lot of stress. So yeah. I try to stay away from it. I concentrate on my family and my friends. And I, I try to do what I think is best for my country. And I try to give the example for everyone else around me. Okay, cool. Usually, usually we bring a lot of bottles and give them shots from the stage, yeah. but, but the lady said that there's a new law in France that you can't do that anymore. Oh, okay. So maybe <laughs> maybe they're full of shit and they just don't want us to get the whole car. Oh, you did it, bro. Hey, los delincuentes de Los Angeles, California, ahorita pues, para pura vision, mucho respeto. El guaro loco, gente loco, y mierda tray, out in la casa, and pura vision. Buddha. 2009, yeah.